Hello and welcome to today's Bible portion. Today we're going to be reading Genesis chapter 7 and 8. And the Lord said unto Noah, Come thou, all thy house into the ark, for thee have I seen righteous before me in this generation. Of every clean beast thou shalt make to thee by sevens, the male and his female. And of beasts that are not clean by two, the male and his female. Of fowls also of the air by sevens, the male and the female to keep seed alive upon the face of all the earth. For yet seven days, and I will cause it to rain upon the earth forty days and forty nights. And every living substance that I have made will I destroy from off the face of the earth. And Noah did according to all that Adonai commanded him. And Noah was six hundred years old when the, fl when the flood of water was upon the earth. And Noah went in, and his sons, and his wife, and his sons, wives, with him, into the ark, because of the waters of the flood, of clean beasts, and of beasts that are not clean, and of fowls, and of everything that creepeth upon the earth. There went in two, and two, unto Noah, into the ark, the male and the female, as Adonai had commanded Noah. And it came to pass... After seven days, that the waters of the flood were upon the earth. It was six hundredth year of Noah's life. In the second month, the seventeenth day of the month, the same day where all the fountains of the deep, great deep, broke up, and the windows of heaven were opened, and the rain was upon the earth forty days and forty nights. In the self same day entered Noah and Shem and Ham, and Japheth, and the sons of Noah, and Noah's wife, and the wi three wives of his sons with them into the ark. They, and every beast after his kind, and all the cattle after their kind, and every creepeth thing that creepeth upon the earth after his kind, and every fowl after his kind, and every bird of every sort. And they went into, they went in unto Noah, into the ark, two and two, of all flesh, herein is the breath of life. And they that went in, went in male and female, of all the flesh, as Adonai had commanded him. And Adonai shut him in. And the flood was forty days upon the earth, and the waters increased, and bare up, bear up the ark. And it, it was lifted up above the earth. And the waters prevailed, and were increased greatly upon the earth. And the ark went up, went upon the face of the waters. And the waters prevailed exceedingly upon the earth. And all the high hills that were under the whole heaven were covered. Fifteen cubits upward did the waters prevail, and the mountains were covered. And all the flesh died that moved upon the earth, both of fowl and of cattle and of beasts and of every creep creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth and every man. All in whose nostrils was the breast of life, all of all that was in the dry land died. And every living, thi every living substance that was destroyed which was upon the face of the ground, both man and cattle, and the creeping things, and the fowls, and the fowl in the water, and they were destroyed from the earth, and Noah only remained alive, and that, and they that were with him in the ark. And the waters prevailed upon the earth a hundred and fifty days. Genesis chapter 8. And Adonai remembered Noah, and every living thing, and all the cattle that was with him in the ark. And Adonai made a wind pass over the earth, and the waters assuage. The fountains of the deep and the windows of heaven were stopped, and the rain from heaven was restrained. And the waters returned from off the earth continually, and after the end of, of the 150 days, the waters were abated, and the ark rested in the seventh month, on the seventeenth day of the month, upon the mountains of Ararat. And the waters decreased continually until the tenth month, and the tenth month on the first day of the month were the tops of the mountains seen. And it came to pass at the end of forty days that Noah opened the window of the ark which he had made, and he sent forth a raven which went 
forth and fro until the waters were dried up from the earth. And he sent forth a dove from him to see if the waters were abated from off the face of the ground. But the dove found no rest for the sole of her foot. And she returned unto him into the ark, for the waters were on the face of the whole earth. And he put forth his hand and took her, and pulled her in unto him into the ark. And he stayed yet another seven days. And again he sent forth the dove out of the ark. And the dove came in to him in the evening, and lo, in her mouth was an olive leaf plucked off. So Noah knew that the waters were abated from off the earth. And he stayed yet another seven days, and sent forth the dove, which returned not again unto him any more. And it came to pass, in the six hundredth and first year, in the first month, the first day of the month, the waters were dried up from all the earth. And Noah removed the covering of the ark, and looked, and behold, the face of the ground was dry. And in the second month, on the seventh day of the twentieth, on the seventh and twentieth day of the month, was the earth dried. And Adonai spoke unto Noah, saying, Go forth of the ark thou and thy wife and thy sons and thy sons' wives with thee. Bring forth with thee every living thing that is with thee, of all flesh, both of fowl and of cattle, and every creep, creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth, that they may Breed abundantly in the earth, and be fruitful, and multiply upon the earth. And Noah went forth, and his sons, and his wives, and his sons' wives with him. And every beast, and every creeping thing, and of every fowl, and whoever, whatsoever creepeth upon the earth after their kinds, went forth out of the ark. And Noah built an altar unto Adonai, and took of every clean beast, and of every clean fowl, and, and offered burnt offerings on the altar. And Adonai swelt a sweet savor, sorry, misprint, smelled a sweet flavor, smelled a sweet savor, and Adonai said in his heart, I will not again curse the ground any more for man's sake, for the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. Neither will I again smite any more everything, every living thing as I have done. While the earth remaineth seed time and harvest and cold and heat and summer and winter and day and night shall not cease. Now, until next time, good night.